What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video today, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my health. As you guys know, the last video we dropped was me talking about my health, how it was kind of like up in the air. You know, Janice thinks that I was going crazy. Before we get into like the little update, what do you think? What? Like, how do you really think I was like going crazy? Yes. Why? Because I think that you experienced anxiety for the first time. And I think that you thought that it was something else because you don't know what anxiety feels like. But as someone who like experiences anxiety, I knew right away that that's what you were going through. So I was trying to tell him that like, you know, the sickness stuff, like to not work himself up about it, but he still was doing it anyways. My thing is guys, like when, I'll, I'll be the first one to say it. When I'm sick, I become a big baby. <gasps> I'm, a, I'm a very big baby. <laughs> However, it takes a lot to break my mental so for me to start freaking out and get anxiety you know at the time and i go like this for anxiety because i didn't know it was anxiety at the time you know every now and then people get anxious and stuff like that but i was literally going through it was panic attacks kind of because i was like i literally couldn't breathe i started panicking and i thought i was like dying and stuff like <laughs> yeah I, yeah, I guess. So, you know, like I said, it takes a lot to break my mental. So for me to get to that point where I actually was panicking and not being able to breathe and I was like freaking out internally, that's why I took it so serious. And the fact that they said, oh, you know, your blood pressure is high. And I was like, man, my heart is racing and all that. I started thinking the craziest things like, what if something's wrong with my heart? What if I have, you know, something internally wrong, you know, God forbid. And then, you know, the tightness in my chest and like the shortness of breath. That's another thing. A lot of you guys, uh, well, not a lot of you guys, but some of you came a little crazy at Janice because you guys thought that she was being insensitive when it came to like me saying I had shortness of breath. She is not being insensitive at all. And we actually got this clarified with my follow up. I was not having shortness of breath. What I was having was called a shallow breath. So shortness of breath is actually something completely different for those. And I want to say like, I don't want to call y'all haters, the ones that were coming crazy at Janice. But like at the end of the day, y'all not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. She's not a doctor, but she She's not insensitive to anything. If anything, she was more worried about me than anything else. So when yeah. it comes to those comments, like chill, cause I, she's not like that at yeah, all. Yeah, and like I, it was kind of irritating, but I was just like, I, when someone is freaking out so much and like when they are super anxious, you just have to kind of be stronger for them. Like also you have to not, like he was saying he was having shortness of breath and stuff like that, but it wasn't like I know what shortness of breath is and I was just kind of trying to reiterate to him that he's okay. Like it's not a situation where he's gonna like, you know, die because he was literally thinking the worst. He was like, oh my gosh, like this is gonna take me out, blah, blah, Guys, blah. I didn't think like, I really thought like the craziest stuff and she can tell you I don't go to doctors I don't go mm -hmm. to hospitals it takes a lot for me to get there especially when it like I said it takes a lot to break like my mental state for it to break my mental state and make me go to the hospital it was like I was dealing with a lot internally and till this day I can't tell you where all that stress and anxiety and stuff yeah. came from I, I have no idea where it came from you know what I think it is I think so like during the whole wedding I was so freaking stressed and I was in it and I was going through the motions with it and then once the wedding was over is when I had a, you know, relief. relief. Him on the other hand, I think everything hit him after the wedding. But the thing is, that's where I say I don't know where it came from because I wasn't thinking about the wedding once the wedding and everything was over. It literally just out of nowhere, like I started yeah. feeling my heart racing, my chest was getting I, tight, I couldn't yeah. breathe, congestion was making it even worse to breathe. I just, I'm a super observant person and I like just think that it was because of all of the commotion that happened. We literally can never catch a break, I feel. When it's always something going on yeah with us. and it's just like all of that not constantly. relationship wise no 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 just, just life yeah just like events and like um just things went happening back to back and a lot of you know people always around us and we're the type of people that like um like to have our energy kind of contained like you know and our just peace have us too. means a lot yeah so when that gets out of whack it, it messes with us internally so I think it was a mixture of that and then on the wedding day it was really cold actually and he was outside in a t-shirt like you know drinking and stuff like that and he didn't feel the cold at the time but I think he ended up getting a cold afterwards and I think all of that 
all together kind of just like was a little cocktail of uh, not so good things. All I can say is panic attacks are like no joke. They're not fun by any means. And then I tell her all the time when she goes through things, do not pull out your phone and go on Google. I was doing exactly that. And like I said, I was thinking the craziest things that were could possibly have been going on with me. So it just added to the like stress and the anxiety and it made everything worse. Yeah, he was not listening to me either. Like mm -hmm. Isaiah's the most stubborn person I ever. Am. I really am. And it's really like, was stressing me out because I'm like, babe, you need to stop. Like he was Googling literally every couple hours. And I already, I know it's the worst thing you can do. I know that and I was still doing it. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't get it. Like I, I'd never seen him like that before. So. I was just a little flabbergasted trying to like get him to come back to you reality. know not reality to come back to like your normal like self it took a lot it definitely took a lot for me another thing i want to get into before i give you guys my update with the doctor the wedding stuff i know you guys are still waiting waiting on the wedding video wedding pictures we're gonna be getting them this week so we've been told we're yeah. just as anxious as you guys again please be patient we know y'all are like really getting anxious like and like i said so are we but it's almost here i promise you that's what we have been told i'm just relaying the message what we've heard from our team yeah and so everyone, please be patient everyone's like oh not everybody but there's a lot of people that are like oh you're playing with us oh like we're not guys. nobody's like we're not we don't even have anything ourselves and a lot of y'all have been saying like oh you guys are dropping everything on content except the wedding content it's like guys we don't have it yet yeah so again please be patient it's coming this week again so we've been told but yeah, as far as an update with my doctor stuff, I ended up having a virtual call uh, with my doctor and we went over basically my blood work and everything that we've talked about at my last appointments. So when it came to my blood work, thank God, everything was basically excellent, everything. I'm talking, you know, my red blood cell count, white blood cell count, my fats, my cholesterol, my sugar intake, literally everything you can think of was perfect and excellent. The only thing that was still slightly off again was my blood pressure but he told me he was like you know he was like you're a young guy i don't see a need to put you on any blood pressure medication he was like it's really not that serious your blood pressure isn't super high where it needs to you know where we need to do that so he was like if i'm gonna guess he was like i'm pretty sure your blood pressure is up just because of your anxiety that you're getting so he was like again it's all a mental thing where you just need to chill relax distract yourself breathe drink water go out for a walk he said just do something because again he was like you're just thinking way too much about everything and you're making your blood pressure go up and then he was like the more you do that the worse it'll get and then he was like at that point if it gets too high your blood pressure he was like now we're gonna have to have a serious conversation and see what we're gonna do to fix that yeah so he was like if you don't want to go that route he was like you're gonna have to chill that was pretty much it right what else yeah. did we talk about and towards the end he basically his blood pressure was like almost normal after we had that phone call i waited maybe like a half hour because that phone call gave me a lot of relief because i was like okay my blood is good i obviously like my kidney function he told me was good my liver is good um literally i'm i'm excellent like i'm perfect internally so that was kind of like a huge relief for me and mm -hmm. at that point i'm like all right so i was already breathing better at the time my virus or cold or whatever that i had went away so I, again i just had anxiety pending those results so once yeah. he told me you're good everything was just kind of relief again i waited a half hour i ended up taking my blood pressure and my blood pressure was the lowest it was in like the past like week or something like that so immediately it went down yeah and they also did an ekg on him yeah um, test. to test his heart and she said that like the nurse was very nice like um she ended up showing isaiah like the patterns and um and she basically said that it this was, was the first this was the first doctor's appointment mm -hmm. It was the first one where we did like my heart test and all that but yeah you were saying okay. but yeah pretty much like Isaiah's great like he's doing good and I know it's like a really scary experience but I'm just happy that that was know, horrible things. that was literally horrible and like I said I don't get like that you guys know I don't get like that she knows firsthand I don't get like that at all I'm very mellow I'm very chill in the craziest situations I would be the most calm one like it's just the way I am so for me to experience that type of anxiety and like those panic attacks it was just throwing me off and I knew it wasn't me and that was another reason why I was thinking so much about it I'm like all right like your body knows when there's something wrong like you know what I mean you can tell when you're off so I'm like I can feel something is wrong with me 
what is it? Yeah, he also never gets sick. Yeah, so that's like, never. Thing. Like the, we've been together nine years. I've probably been sick. She's you've like seen me sick. Times. I was gonna say maybe three times in nine years. Yeah. I don't get sick. I really don't. And he could be around people with like COVID, mm -hmm. like, and I just don't get how that happened. It's my immune system. Yeah, immune system top notch. Maybe it's because you haven't been eating fast food lately. That's why you got sick. Probably. I'm going <laughs> through withdrawal. Who knows? But yeah, guys, that that's pretty much the update when it comes to my health. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys that were you know saying your prayers and like well wishes and telling me you know everything is going to be good and then you guys were having your inputs like oh maybe it's this try doing this have a remedy for that like you guys were really trying to help and support in all like the ways possible so i really do appreciate every single one of you guys it means a lot but yeah your boy's good as soon as i got like all the good results and all that janice obviously was here through a bunch of it but like after like the initial phone call with uh the doctor going over my blood work i was like babe you're stuck with me for another few years i was like i'm not going nowhere view is crazy you never know like you never know tomorrow's never promised that's all i'm just trying to say so you gotta be grateful for every single day your boy's here to stay i'm not going nowhere god willing i knew you weren't <laughs> but yeah your boy's good anything else you want to say babe before we close this out mm -mm. Like I said, I oh, appreciate Oh, wait, I do. I'm sorry. So as soon as you found out that you were good, you ordered Pizza Hut to celebrate. I did. I ordered pizza <laughs> and wings. And wings. Because he told me, he was like, everything's good. He was like, your fat is good. Once he said your fat and your cholesterol is good, I was like, bet. So I can keep going the way I'm going. Okay. So I ordered pizza and wings. <laughs> and it was the best thing ever. With a soda. But... Yeah. With a soda. <laughs> With a soda. With a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Like I said, I appreciate every single one of you guys, babe. I appreciate you for always being there for me as a okay. wife, as a wife should. And I would do the same, obviously, as her husband. But um, yeah, with all that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you guys for everything, and we'll see you on the next one.